Now, some of you might not believe what just came across my desk this morning, but yep, you read the title of this video correctly. The Pope got caught lying, red-handed. Check this out. It says, a victim's graphic letter describing sexual abuse by a priest that was witnessed by a controversial Chilean bishop was hand-delivered to Pope Francis three years ago, contradicting the pontiff's claims that he was unaware anyone had come forward about a cover-up. And this ain't no schlock outfit reporting on it. It's the Associated Press. That's not fake news. But regardless, this is par for the course for the man of sin in Rome. In fact, as we know, every pope since day one has lied about everything from child molestation to what they call Christian doctrine. But with this pope, who is in fact a Jesuit, lying is something that comes naturally. And, and no, I don't say that to be sarcastic or insulting in any way, shape, or form. The well-documented and published Jesuit oath confirms this is what they must do as it shows how they promise to lie to every single denomination they infiltrate so as to move Vatican dogma into the churches they invade. They do so by acting as if they are newly installed church leaders of the same faith. As a Jesuit, that is their main duty according to their oath. Being the very last days, bold and obvious types of exposure like this was prophesied to be the norm. I mean, you have to know, when a God of truth declares the man of sin will be revealed, he will most assuredly be revealed. Christian prophecy is that accurate. Yes, students of prophecy have known all about this evil man in the Vatican for literally centuries, and many, like myself, have been very vocal about this just the last few decades alone. But due to the nearness of our Lord's return, it has become obvious that even the common man now knows who the man of sin is. As prophesied in Revelation 12.12, 12, the dying God of this world, or Satan as most know him by, he knows he has no time to bother with deep-seated cover-ups anymore. His time is extremely short, and thanks to the well-documented historic facts that have piled so high that it can never again be hidden, we all know that the man of sin has, and always will be, the popes of the Roman Catholic Church. Thank you for watching. God bless.